So apparently, large parts of the city of Catania in Sicily, which is a city of 300,000 people, it's, they've all now gone 48 hours without water or electricity because the cables laid under the roads have melted in 46 Celsius heat. 46 C to F. Um, oh wow, 114.8 degrees. 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit. I hate watching climate change do its thing. This was all preventable. Yeah, I didn't, you know, it's like they told us about it. It's like a totally different thing to see it happening in real time. Like it's terrifying how frequently all across this nation, even here in Kansas, we sometimes get hazy skies from smoke, from like fire, fires in Colorado and fire, fire, fire fires in um, California, you know? Like we were talking about climate change. Yeah, fucking 114, 115 degree heat in this, uh, in Catania in Sicily. And then Sicily's capital Palermo is encircled by wildfires at present. Current satellite view of, this, of the fires burning across Sicily. And then there's this, which is, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like video of Sicily being on fire. But I just think it's crazy that like the pipes, cables, they've like, people have gone 48 hours without water or electricity because the cables laid under the roads have melted in 46. Did the PVC melt? Did the electricity cause a bunch of fires? I am not sure if the electricity caused the fires, but here's the thing about like, when you say, isn't that poor design, um, like the pipes that the electricity and the water flow through are made of plastic. And it was probably HDPE that melts more easily than PVC. Okay, that's fair. And I don't know what's standard in Italy. Um, like, I don't know what's standard over there, so I'm not sure what would be the, what, like what the pipes would be made out of um but basically yeah so like okay so I, i'm i'm trained as an electrician if you didn't know this um hit like if you didn't know that i was trained as an electrician hit like if you did know that i was trained as an electrician anyway i can't do it because i have physical disabilities but um i learned how and here's one of the things about doing electrical stuff is you know if you're for example if you're going to install something on someone's roof or like right underneath their roof, you know, like, it, you know, let's say there's a section of their house where um, it's a new addition. So there's no attic on it and they want to like put light fixtures on the ceiling, but the ceiling is like thin and directly above it is just like the shingles of the house, right? So the shingles, when, when something hits the shingles, it gets hot. Like when the sunlight hits it, it gets hot, you know? And then, um, so you have to account for that if you're going to attach something to the underside of that ceiling, basically, that you have to account for the fact that it could overheat beyond what the capacity of the wire generally would be. And then you can like upsize the wire, make a, a bigger, bigger around so that it can handle more heat and more conduction, um, under, under more intense circumstances. Right. So like, yeah, you you build these pipes and you and the same with cold as well, you know, you design your infrastructure in such a way um, that you can deal with the extremes on either end. Like in the, we, you get like a manual that has all these like uh, charts and stuff and, and some of them have to do with what the average temperatures are in certain areas. Like if you're installing something in Texas, you have to install it to be able to handle like the coldest you like the coldest usual or perhaps even the coldest possible temperatures in Texas and the hottest possible temperatures in Texas and then when the weather starts getting more extreme on either direction then something that you built to deal with you know the extremes of every year it's just that you're putting them under more extremes than they haven't been built to uh, deal with and then of course you have failures People were, you know, surprised by the fact that there were so many wildfires at like chicken coops and stuff like that uh, last summer. And I'm not because that exact thing of, you know, if you if you have a light coming up on the underside of your barn, you know, you've got like a barn you it's usually made of fucking metal. So you have like a metal roof and the sunlight's hitting it and it's getting hot and you've got some wire going up there to the light 
And like, it was probably done in a janky way in the first place, because A, you are allowed to do some weird stuff on farms, and B, a lot of people do their own electrical and they do not know the rules. Um, so then, yeah, you have a wire that's sized to deal with a certain electrical load and under certain temperature restrictions, but then it's getting hotter and hotter. And so what happens? The fucking wire catches on fire or it catches something around it on fire. You know, like there's straw, um, there's all kinds of far fine particulates in the air on a farm. So yeah, like no fucking wonder there's a bunch of fires at chicken coops. Like, duh. That makes perfect sense for what's going on with, with climate change. But those are the kind of things that you don't think about unless you're like skilled tradesmen. And then a lot of fucking electricians are, you know, conservative. So it's not like people are applying that type of thinking in that type of way. Yeah, wire, yeah. The insulation, like it, like here's the thing. The wire melts the insulation and then it usually catches something around it on fire. Yeah. Or, or like the insulation itself can burn at extreme enough temperatures. And like by insulation, I mean the wire has like plastic around the outside, right? And that's the danger we're running into is the plastic melting off of the wire. And then you have a wire exposed and electricity exposed and sparks can fly. That's what happened here in Sicily. The wires, like the, the stuff melted off of the sides of the wires and like caused electrical failures and the pipes that the water was running through melted. Like all, like the plastics that are used for the piping and for the insulation on the outside of these, um, out, on the outside of the wires and stuff, like those plastics are all susceptible to meltage, you know? And it's like under the roads, I think that's what it was specifically said here, like cables laid under the roads have melted in 46 C heat. So the the air, the air was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it's hitting black asphalt. And then who knows what's going on underneath there. Like it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And so yeah, of course it's melting. Global warming has effects uh, that we can't even imagine at the moment. Melting cable and wire coverings was something I didn't even think about until now. Yeah, yeah, like, the insulation on the wires, you know, that take the power from one location to another above your head, you know, those are not insulated wires. But the second you put one of those wires underground, yeah, you have to put it in plastic, you know? Like, you have to insulate it somehow. We need to start thinking about literally every single thing we rely on and ask ourselves, what happens when hot, hot, hot? Thank you so much to my August supporters, including Tiago Nascimento, Mersh Rolvog, Amanda B., Danielle McDonald, Sarah A, Spooky Heather Sylvia, Robin Olson, Athiette, Kevin Young, Michelle Winter, Pastnell Infinity, Jamie Jam, DZXN, Desi Quiche, Suzanne Maynard, Kitty Tick, Nova, Mr. Atheist, Elizabeth Bartell, Sojo, and Michelle Frateroli.